That's my biggest anxiety because we so had I'm that not our sound times. is working. Oh. Let us know. Hit the thumbs up if you hear us. It says we're live. Can you hear us? That's my Let biggest us know. anxiety because we've had it, that not work. People times. usually have a hard time hearing me, so I'm trying to have the mic right next to me. I had to turn it down for my. It says we're live. Can you hear oh, us? You? Okay. Let us know. So I see what there's four people, people usually in have a hard right time hearing me, so I'm trying to have the mic right next to me. I had to turn it down for my little. Oh, little did you? Okay. Oh, so okay. I see what there's four people in here right now. <sighs> Yeah. Were you able to check it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So we got two people in here so far. Oh, okay. Oh, five people. Oh, hey. Well, those are from um. Like I had Yeah. Were you able to check it? Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, Welcome little mountain life. So fun. Nice to see you, Don. Oh, five people. Oh, hey. We're at well, those are from, um, It's our first time here at the new property live. Oh, so. Hey guys, <laughs> hey, we're on Mountain Life on World Naked Gardening nice Day. Nice to see you, Dawn. Um, <sighs> we're only going to be we're acclimating naked under. It's our first place, time here so. at the new property live. Woo! Here's that. <laughs> yeah. Ironically, on World Naked Gardening Day. Oh, I'm so glad um, to hear you say that, Dawn, because. Uh, literally, when I stepped our foot on this so. property, it just felt There's like that. everything he and I talked about, and I had to go see it by myself. Oh, I'm so glad to he hear you say that, Don, that. because and uh, literally, I, like when literally, I stepped I foot after on walking this the property, property, I wanted to say it just Let's felt do like it. everything. But then this heavy about weight I had came on my chest by myself. Uh, without like, him. what if he doesn't like it? What if there's something he doesn't like? And, and I didn't I, like the like, responsibility I would see after walking the property. I wanted to say let's do it. But then um, this heavy so worked it out weight came on my chest to be able to come and see it. Like, like what if he doesn't like it? Made any final like, and I didn't want the response. I wanted him to have that experience. Like I had stuck somewhere in walking um, so onto this property for him to be able to come and see it before we made any oh, final we're buffering. arrangements. Because I wanted him to have that experience I had in walking onto this property and oh, echo. Uh -oh. Uh, hold on. Oh we're buffering. Do we have two mics on? Oh echo. Uh, hold on. Do we have two mics on? <sighs> Is it fixed now? Because we're seeing, somebody said that they think it's fixed now, but I'm seeing like the circle of death happening. Do you hear us at all? Is it fixed? Huh. <laughs> Jason at Big Bear. Well, we're in the country now. Um, so I don't know if we're just buffering or what. Are you checking in on your thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Peter says they can hear us. Okay, okay, cool. Because our studio thing shows like this buffering circle of death. So, is it buffering on that? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. 
Okay, cool. Um, as soon as something seems like it's not working, make a comment because that's really the only way we're going to know because our studio camera is acting funny. <laughs> oh, Jason's going to go for it. Oh, okay, yeah? Let's tell the story. Go ahead and tell the story. So, it's so, hot in this damn room. I mean, darn room. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have grow lights uh, on our new seedlings that we just planted. But, okay, so we had a torrential downpour here in North Texas. Uh, two, I guess this is the third day since it happened. And we are new to having septic. We're new to having propane. Um, We're new to having land. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, you can do all the studying you want to do to have this life, but, like, it's still new when it's your first, no matter how many articles you've read about it. Uh, but the torrential rain caused our septic system to flood, and our toilets were not flushing after that rain pour for, like, almost two days, right? Mm -hmm. It was not fun, um, but we did quickly learn where water collects on the property so i feel like it was kind of god's way of saying oh look at these areas you need to fix uh look at these areas you need to address um so i feel like we got a heads up on it yeah and luckily we're taking this year slow uh, I the, am. He is not. I'm doing container garden, I, so that's still slow. He's full steam ahead, like trying to put plants everywhere. Yep. And I'm like, chill. No chill taken. See? Okay, so admission. Yeah, so I was basically, I mean, we planted a lot yesterday, and we still got more things to plant. I got more seeds. <laughs> He's got more stuff to plant. He's got more stuff to plant. Hey, it's been since... What? Okay, so this, this is what I get for being like, you can't, you can't, no, no planting, don't do this, don't do that, because now we're here, and he's like, I'm putting seeds everywhere. Seeds free. I'm like, Oprah, you <laughs> get some seeds, you get some seeds, you get some seeds, you get some seeds, everyone get some seeds. I feel like he wants to go out there with seed packets and just, <laughs> and I'm just, <laughs> and I'm just like, chill, can we like. You know, I want to be, let's reel it in a little bit. <laughs> uh, so let's go to quick some comments real quick. Uh, Lion, Lion Crest Outdoors, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Early Bird Farm, South Carolina. Oh, man, you are so lucky you get to be around Jess. And I know. I, we, when she was doing that reveal, I, we, we were literally like, Please be Texas. Please be Texas. Texas. Please be Texas. <laughs> Um, a little mountain life said new place look amazing so happy for y'all thank you Lily Belou oh. hello from France oui oui monsieur or mademoiselle <laughs> do you know how to say it I said it okay. therefore I know what I'm saying okay uh, <laughs> Diane Diana Sanders hello welcome welcome Happy birthday, Cara. I hope I'm saying your name right. Gonzalez. Carrie, Cara. Carrie, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Many blessings and many more. Robin, one of our favorite Big Bear Homestead uh, members. What's up from Northeast Georgia? Uh, Sunny's Place. Hola, amigos. Que pasó? Que pasa? And you're a lot louder than I am. Oh, yeah. So that's stop, right. stop yelling. I'm not yelling. That's my natural voice. I know. He's got like this natural megaphone without a microphone. That's that military in me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right. Uh, Big Bear is acting like somebody in the pooping the bucket. Uh, TJ Miller, welcome. Becoming a farm girl. Good morning, everyone. Congrats again on your stunning new homestead. I've been enjoying the last two hours. I'm watching them like it's mine. Love hearing your thoughts on everything. Thank you, and thank you, thank you. We're in a position where we love hearing the feedback we're getting. Like, we've been getting advice, and we need it. Like, we're going to be asking advice, um, especially when it comes to permaculture stuff and our pond. 
Um, Big Bear Homestead is our mentor. Yeah, um, Robin and the girls, they are our mentors. Jason's my mentor with bees. Um, so we are very blessed to have friends um, to ask questions directly to. Yeah. Um, Sunny's Place, I love seeing you too, but I got to be honest. I was thinking the naked gardens would be naked on Naked Gardening Day. We are naked. It's just under our, our clothes are hiding our sexiness. <laughs> Your sexiness. Yeah. Um, so we had our name before we knew that there was such a thing as Naked Gardening Day. And I, I'm going to be honest, it freaked me out. Because I was like, I was already freaked a little weird about having our name and people having expectations. But then there was an actual Naked Gardening Day, and I was like, oh, I'm not committing myself to be that fit to be naked. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so the funny thing was about last month, th uh, this is our third year? Oh. Yeah, our third year in, people were sending us, oh, you know, International Naked Day. I was like, we were like, we what? were like, what? There's a thing? So we Googled it, of course, went to Google University and saw that there wasn't such a thing. We were like, oh, let's play on this. So. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we'll have fun with a thumbnail. Um, we were naked in our thumbnail. <laughs> but uh, it, that's it. That's it. We will never be sitting here naked. Um, Lone Star Living. I'm gonna have to. I, I'm liking you already. He said, "Big Bear Homestead, Georgia is cool, but Texas is best." Yeah, they treat their <laughs> veterans a lot better here in Texas. Um, I feel yeah. in observation of other states, like Texas does treat their veterans really good. So, um. I think when we started echoing, I don't know how much you guys heard that uh, our property backed up, the septic tank backed up with the torrential rain we got. So I don't know how much of that you guys got. Hey, Crystal, Texas Garden. Oh, Crystal, a fellow Texan. And I know that they are going to be selling their property and coming up a bit more to the central area. Early Bird Farms, had, my vote is South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it, it's beautiful. And it's funny because when I was getting out the Air Force, I checked on Forbes at that particular time. And North Carolina, South Carolina, Oklahoma, and uh, Texas. And there was another, another place. I can't remember, but those were, oh, Virginia. Those were the top five places that had the best growing economy, housing, and employment-wise. So, the Mrs. Nick Garner was like, well, I want to move closer to family. Well, actually, that's not the case. Um, when he was coming out of the military, he didn't have a job. Um, I had a profession in ophthalmology and I knew where I could go to make the most money in my profession and I also had family that was allowing us to stay with them without paying while we looked for a place so I mean like that to me was the option because we didn't have another nest to go um, the money that they paid you coming out of the military allowed you know, like pay off cars and like not have debt that would have otherwise been spent on housing and stuff and trying to get set up somewhere that was foreign to us without family. So um, I, I'm sorry, I went with the no brainer on that and I'm not sorry about it because look where we are. Yeah, and we could have been better in Houston too if we're gonna be in Texas. Anyway, anyway, I don't like humidity, so. And you don't be outside yeah. much anyway, so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying, Lone Star, Lone Star Living said, oh no, haven't experienced that yet. Dreading it though. Our property is swamped right now. Uh, Copper Kettle Farm, sorry I'm late. We, got a, we had a goat cotton electric fence and another working to clean up from a burst. Episode. Oh, One. yeah, we haven't learned about that yet, but it's gross. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, if an animal is injured, I'm putting it down. Don't say that. I'm putting it down, sorry. Okay, anyway. 
I, I, that, I just see that when you say the goat caught in the electric fence, I just see it's like just getting constantly shot. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Terrible. 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 Becoming a farm girl. Huck, LOL, caught the sneaky, sneaky dig, Tori. She's sexy with the clothes on. <laughs> Sunny's Place. I love Missouri. Thank Won't you. go. Huh? I said thank you. The uh, Sunny's Place. I love Missouri. Won't go anywhere for a while. If we do, it'll be for mountains. I, I agree. If I would like to be, me personally, I would like to be more of a Midwest area. Um, I like cooler climates. Uh, not, if I wanted to be in Texas, I'd rather be close to the family since I'm more family oriented type stuff. But that's just me. But my family still comes to visit. Uh, built on the Rock Homestead. Hi, everyone. Early bird, South Carolina. The Jets from Shaw Air Force Base and the helicopter fly over my place all the time. My neighbors across the Across from me is X Air Force, and he owns a private airport. Oh wow! The heli cool. the helicopters will fly in there, refuel the jets, use it as a target <laughs> when practicing missions. Uh, becoming the farm girl, were there any close contenders? If so, how did you make the farm? Well, there were a lot, and the way this market is, I mean, if you don't put your offer in, just like what uh, Jess and I was saying. If you don't put your offer in, it it gets caught up right now. The market is super, super hot. And what I'll say about that is we have been looking for a while. So we had a good feel for the area um, that we were probably going to buy in. We saw how quickly uh, things were um, getting taken off the market. We would see something we would really like. And we still weren't, we still didn't have our house up for sale so we literally couldn't take action on it until we finished what we needed to do and that was to have our house listed um like the day before we pulled uh our house uh the gun on our house actually physically being listed i happened to search just outside of our search area and i found this place and i was like i showed it to him it like it checked every box and then some that we didn't even know at that point um and we sent it over to our agent and it had been on the market for a hundred and twenty days 20 place. days at that point which was like okay well it's in a, a bit more of a rural area um the selling of our house like where we were we were in a hot market our house only showed one day to five different people and we got five offers and we went with you know the best offer of everything that was going on and so I literally only we only had to have people in our house for like one day and we had prepared for it um, so then we were in the hot seats okay our house is ready to sell somebody wants to buy it are we accepting this and then we had to start like really like going after this place that we wanted so we did have a feel for what we wanted at least yeah um lone star living y'all get decent internet over there it's pretty decent it's it's not the best that we had at our other location but it, it gets the job done yeah from it's what been we doing do. the job uh crystal texas garden i'm trying to get away from houston i would like to be in houston because like i said my family comes and visits and a lot we do a lot of family oriented type uh, events together and stuff so I would like to be around them more often they are excited to come up here yeah. um, now that we're gonna you know like have animals and a lot of them have kids and um, so I foresee some nice events it is set up for to be able to do some nice events here uh, copper cattle farm said I hope you have goat nightmares nope <laughs> I care about no animals Pennsylvania is the place to be. Pencil when I did a project out in Pennsylvania, it was a lovely area. Uh, well, at least the area that I was at, if I can remember where it was at. But it was it wasn't that far from Hershey. Um, I've been out to Pittsburgh, um, uh, and it was fine for me when I went out to visit. Uh, Sunny's place. I we have stealth bombers fly over our area. Whiteman Air Force Base. 
isn't too far from us. Okay. Uh, Lone Star Living, Crystal, a Texas. Uh, yes, we had some friends in Conroe that wanted us to get property down that way. We ended up up the opposite way. We're near the Red River. Where, how far are you? Oh, I'm pretty sure I, I asked. Because okay. when I went into Paris, it said stuff about Red River. So I'm like. Okay, so they just answered me. I, I texted while oh. you were talking or messaged while you were talking. They said they're about 30, 45 minutes away. I was at the Home Depot in Wally. Oh. Okay. We were just there yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We were there about. We have to meet for coffee. Yeah. Or something. That's cool. Uh, um, TJ Miller said 18 watching 12 like. Yeah. Make sure you. Yeah. Hit that like. Smash it, the button. It helps our channel. So that would be awesome. That's cool. Going green mom. Happy naked garden day. Woohoo. <laughs> I'm not doing anything like that. <laughs> Only be off camera. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, built on the Rock Homestead. I spent one semester on National Student Exchange in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Hey, Stacy. All right. Now oh. that Stacy's here, let's open up. Okay, so Yellow Rose Homestead. They're such a sweet couple. Uh, we we love them. We adore them. They're they're truck drivers. They're on the road a lot. They got their new homestead not too long ago, and um, when we first came to our property with the movers, there was a package on the front steps, and she had told me that they were sending us something, and I set it off to the side. So I wanted to open that up and do kind of like an unboxing of what they got for us. Um, <clears throat> let me get that here. I'm not as comfortable with your knife as you are. It better not be. <laughs> I have gotten used to that knife a little bit because I've been opening a lot of boxes and breaking them down. <sighs> we have a huge collection of boxes. And let me just tell you, like, moving is stressful. Like, I know... Don't even say <laughs> Because I, I'm kind of... I'm, very a type and very like organized about things and i've been driving him crazy i i i do not apologize. I, I told her if, i do not apologize i told her if we ever 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 ever, ever move again i'm moving away for two months he's gonna send me to my son in seattle for I two swear months but i don't care if it, and he's gonna take care of everything i'll take care of everything because oh my gosh because I'm so like I'm deep like I'm on every detail. So it's funny that we we start talking about this because Jess and Maya just did a recent video about this. Apparently, and how, I'm just like her. And 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 I've talked to a few people in our Marco Polo with the Big Bear, uh, Mama Z, Copper Kettle Farm, and all that. I'm like I'm used to moving. I don't get stressed about moving because I'm so used to. I think our last place and when we when I was stationed in Montana was the longest place I ever lived at because every two years I was so used to moving due to the military. And so I don't get stressed about that kind of stuff. Well, I was I grew up as a military brat and I moved around and I moved around like my ex-husband was army. I moved around. Um, but the older you get, the more you accumulate, the wiser you become, the more lessons that you learn to pay attention to details about things. So I, I'm a details person. Um, I don't think this uh, place would have been, you know, as as smooth. I mean, we have some hiccups, but, um, you know, like, I anticipated stuff, so. Anyway, oh. so this is what we got. It's basically a card. Hello, home, uh, happy homesteading. Congrats on your new home from Stacy and Chris Mincer of Yellow Farm. Messier. Messier? Yeah. Messier. I'm terrible at pronunciation. Uh, and I can't read, so. <gasps> so, uh, ooh. This was something on our list. Did you guys look at our 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 Amazon list? Because so, they got us a, a solar power bank, and we had actually put this on, on our Amazon uh List? And we talked about this in our family group because after that Arctic storm when all the electricity went out. Um, I felt bad because I was in sunny Florida while she was in Coattail, Texas. I don't think he felt bad about it. Like, I don't. I mean, I kind of did. No, I, I don't think he did. So, okay. That's just me. 
know oh. him. Anyway. Oh, this is so cool. So we can have this uh, charge up. Just the sun will charge it up. And then, so if we ever lose, like, power here or anything, the sun will charge that up, and that will charge my phone so that I will, because that was an issue. Like, I had to go out and... Um, I be in her car or charge her... It or, took, like, 17 miles of my car and gas to and charge standing my phone, still. Just sitting still in my car. Which, that, I mean, if you do the math, that's <laughs> yeah. not cheap. Yeah, especially the way gas prices are mm -hmm. right now. Oh, thank you guys. Like this is that that is a phenomenal. Like I am never gonna forget that you guys got that for us because we talked about this. Yeah. They saw how scared I was because I had no power, nothing, and at that point, I think oh. that's when I started to learn about generators. Yeah, and that's a that was another thing that kind of helped sell this home was. Uh, the previous sellers, they had a generator connected to their second electrical panel that's in the garage. If y'all saw the uh, empty house tour, we talked about that. So that way, when I'm gone, uh, Miss Naked Gardener will still have power. I was just have to show her how to hook it up. So it came with this also card. Um, I'm not sure if y'all can see that. So I guess you got to do the scratch off so you could continue talking. Oh. Oh. First prize is 777. Okay. Whatever that means. We'll take it. What's the name? Um, cuz I saw the So the this one. one was a nice Ooh. Oh, you know what? I put that on the list for you. I I was thinking about him because he's been like into like meats and cuts and with our plans to have some meat goats, um, and some pigs. And I think in our third year, third yeah, to pigs. fourth year, we're going to introduce pigs. I think in our second year, goats. This year, it's goats going and fish. to... Goats and fish. What? Goats and fish. Oh, yeah. Our second year is going to be goats and, and, and dealing with our, our pond and fish. Um, but this year, it's going to be turkeys and chickens. Look! Like, that is phenomenal, Stacey. Thank you so much, you and Chris. Like, so, Mrs. Naked Gardner put this uh, book on our, uh, ooh. Oh, wow. Kind of graphic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Once upon a time, I never thought that he would be able to harvest chickens. And he did. Like, it's just baby steps, baby. You can ooh, do this. What is this? That's I mean, cat. I'm always going to, to be the one to do it. So we were watching a YouTube channel, a small YouTube channel, and he basically learned how to butcher different types of uh, livestock. But I think he was raising goats and lambs and sheep and stuff like that. And he was doing either a lamb or a sheep he was showing or a goat. Cuts. And he yeah. was just breaking it down. And he was saying there's so many ways that you could break it down. There's no true correct way or wrong way i guess there might be a wrong way but there's, there's you know what and, and it's on what type of meat that you want to acquire but from in that youtube animal. land there's always going to be somebody that says that you're doing something wrong of course so. and you gotta if you do a youtube channel you gotta have basically you gotta channel. have thick skin to Ooh. have a youtube channel oh you know what i kind of got a hint that this might have i love this thank you stacy so Chris. Since being on this property, we've been very high on doing a fruit guild since we got two fruit trees already on our property. And they got pears, blackberries. I wonder what type, how many things that they have on it. This okay, is, you're going to be able to study okay. it after this live. So, anyway, thank you, <laughs> Yellow no, Farm. No, not even yet. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, uh, yeah. Yellow Rose Homestead. For those home welcome gifts. That was gifts. so sweet. Like, that was stuff that we actually need. Um, right now, we're also... He is doing a lot of reading. I'm doing a lot of reading on um, bees for when I plan to do bees. He's studying a lot on the permaculture front. These are some of the books that yeah. I am currently reading right now. And this one of the books I'm very excited about i'm gonna be doing oh this this is like the holy bible if you got a homestead go get this book 
Yeah, that's really been um, an influence for a lot of the thoughts and plans that we're having for the size of our property and it, and it just being the two of us. Like, it doesn't make sense for, I mean, we're done child rearing. Um, we just practice. <laughs> it's just the two of us. And so we need to set our place up to work as naturally as possible to our benefit where the animals are, you know, feeding off of the land and like things are kind of working together. Um, makes sense for us. All right. Let's go back to the comments. TJ Miller, we got stuff flying over us all the time out in Edwards Flight Test Corner. Uh, Mama Z, welcome, welcome. I got to catch up on your cooking. Uh, yeah, we need to catch the parts that we missed. Uh, let's see. Super Evil C. Ooh. Love this new <laughs> spot. Blesses up. Thank you. Uh, going Green Mom, my grandmother had a museum ex exhibit, the University in Indiana, Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, built on the rock homestead going green mom the semester I was there was worse spring in 50 years lots of construction taking place the campus was a muddy mess Lone Star living my wife had an app and a QR code sticker on our boxes and had a list on the app of everything in each box she hmm. was crazy organized during the move oh. that's even worse than me okay oh okay. lord okay. <laughs> 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 uh, this was supposed to be our last move Oh, Stacy said, I hate moving. You know what? I never used to hate moving. Like, the last few... And, and even in the house that we sold, we had a tornado hit it, and we had to be displaced from it from 10, for 10 months. But other people, like, did the like all the stuff for us. This, this, honestly, guys, we had the worst movers. Oh. The worst experience with that. Um, this has not been a smooth situation for us, um, and I promise you that I'm going to elaborate on that in our next live because I'm a, I got some mean things to say, <laughs> but it'll anyway, be on our next live. Crystal, Texas Garden moving is horrible. Can you imagine it with animals? Oh my goodness! And how many? You got chickens and what else kind of animals do you have, uh, Crystal? I had to keep telling myself, well, at least we don't have kids in, you know, at least we don't have all these animals. And even not having all those things, like, the only thing that's gotten me through what we're going through is I keep telling myself, well, at least we don't have any kids during this. And, and, and you know, because we're empty nesters. Our kids are out. And at least we, you know, didn't have to move with, like, now we did move with Sage. And that was an entire experience. Oh like, my God. oh. This dude has the worst driving anxiety he, he ever. He hates to be in, like, in a vehicle. And it was an hour and a half drive. Of course, I was like, you taking him. <laughs> and he was horrible. And then he wouldn't come out of the shop for three days. Mm -hmm. he, he like made himself a corner. Like He was freaking out in this move. Um, so I can, like, that's the only little extra taste of stress that I got. And I was afraid of a, a snake eating him. <laughs> I was. Oh, uh, green going, green mob. Oh, yuck. It was fun going to the museum opening. I drove out here in Indiana and was 16 at the time. Beautiful pl place. But holy cow, those hills were not fun to drive in and stick shit. Uh, becoming a farm girl, Stacy uh, Miser, Miser, however you say, Messier, Messier. Messier. I, I, I never ask how it's pronounced, so. It's so can you Marco Polo us how it's pronounced? Yellow Rose Homestead, Stacy. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna say. What a thoughtful gesture! Yes, go check them out. They're a truck driving loving couple, and uh, they just, they drive together. They drive together. They bought a homestead and. They're basically uh, getting their homestead together. They have a wonderful story. Go check and them we, out. And we talked about them on the last slide because they have a friend that has horrible cancer. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we still got their link down below. 
So uh, what it is, their friend used to be a model and just found that she had cancer and previously had with her. and she got cancer again. It's four stage. Four stage. And then another bomb hit because their farm sitter that is at their farm so that they can be on the road had um, gone in and she had, was a cancer survivor and her cancer's back and has to leave. So they're losing their farm sitter in Texas and they are having, you know, to figure out how to get things situated to be away from their home because they're on the road and they've lost their farm sitter. All right. Uh, early bird farm, South Carolina. I need one of those neck knives. <laughs> These are, if you go to the um, Homesteading Life Conference, the <laughs> Homesteading Life Conference, uh, definitely get with uh, M. M M T knives. M T. I don't know why I want to see them. the letter M T knives. Yeah. He always wants to say M T K knives. Yeah, I don't know why, but M K M M T knives. M T knives. Go to uh, their booth. If you don't go to the Homesteading Life Conference, tickets are still on sale, but you can go to their websites. We'll put it. We're gonna in, be there. Yeah. We got VIP tickets. Yeah, yeah. We'll put their uh, website down uh, below. At, or, and I want one of these for myself. I got to get this sharpened because you've been using it so much. Yeah, I, I want one for myself because I want to have a weapon on me at all times when I'm out in the field here. Anywho, so I'm going to put that down here for y'all to go to to get to nine. All right. Uh, let's see where are we at the uh, early bird pharmacy the solar bank solar power bank is really cool built on the rock home set I need a power bank no power for six days yes and that is definitely and we got some more stuff that we're gonna get that we have in our Amazon that I want to get once we finish completely selling this house like blankets selling this house I mean buying purchase once we find a clothing yeah we, we have our official official because like I said before, like there's been one thing after another, and we were here initially like in a leaseback situation, and we have our clear to close, and it's all going to be finalized on Monday. It's been kind of like, we just haven't shared all that stuff, um, but uh, I will give you more information on our next live about that. <laughs> so, uh, Crystal, Texas Garden, get a tractor, which we're going to get once we finish closing. And a PTO generator. Uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah, if you could send us a link, even to our email, it's teamholland77 at gmail.com. If you know of something that is great that's worked for you, please send it so I have a reference. All right. Uh, Sunny Place said, great book. It's going to come in handy. Which book? I think The Butchery and the... Um, well, actually, both books. Uh, Going Green Mom, very nice gift, but yeah, I would have some issues with the graphics. <laughs> Sunny's Place, let me know when you're ready to cook some goat meat, and we'll come down. Oh! I uh, guess we're going to have to jump the gun and get some goats. Uh, that's your uh, Sunny, Sunny said. What are you talking about, Big she, Bear? Uh, so you don't want ours? What? The kids. Yes, I want yes, your kids. Yes, we want your kids. Like, we we are trying to do, like, instead of crop rotation, like, child rotation, <laughs> but giving Minus them... Minus the child on our side. Yeah, but giving them free time to be, like, empty nesters so they can kind of get ready for what that's going to be like. Send your kids to us. <laughs> um, we will put them to work. We have to have permission to discipline them. Uh, otherwise, it won't work out. <laughs> like, it bell? will not work out if I cannot discipline your child. <laughs> sunny place let me know uh no uh, going to green rock mom uh can you remind me where your place is we are in the lamar county northeast texas area near uh, paris that's our closest shopping area uh stacy said uh you are so welcome i'm driving to shreveport so i'm kind of quiet no ain't no problem uh make sure y'all uh if y'all have a chance go check out yellow yellow rose homestead and let them know that we sent y'all over there Make sure you and Chris drive safe over there. They're such a sweet, fun, <laughs> funny couple. Um, and they they are empty nesters as well. So I feel like I gravitate towards that because I understand what that is. 
our cat is outside the window. <laughs> he's, he's like, he's like, what? Hey, hey, I'm hey, still out here. Um, he just this week finally is brave enough that he's asking to go out um, and wanting to be out. And like at nighttime, I'm actually the one that's like, no, come back in. Um, Before somebody was like, oh no, I wish he ran away. I was like that, but since we've been here, I'll tell you, in preparing for this move and actually coming out here, say, I, I've never known a cat to be this way, but every time like I had a mover come to give me a quote or a worker to come in to do something in that house before we left, he would sit between me and the male and I'm by myself in a very like protective stance and every time I would walk somewhere he runs up ahead of me like like a dog and it's tr like he acts very protective of me um so now I like him a little bit more all right so let's try to get through these cool comments and stuff really okay really go for it uh crystal said horses ducks chickens dogs and cats horses why horses now I'll take some of those ducks off your hand Horses, uh, okay, so what I have to say about that, horses, pools, and boats, I put them all in the money pit category, because what do you get back from, I mean, I know you get some fun from a pool, but it is a money pit, um, a boat is kind of a money pit as well, because, I mean, it is for, like, fun and stuff, but is it making money for you, I don't know. Be right back. Uh, go to help my son pick out his car. Oh, good job. Uh, congratulations again on your son getting that, those scholarships. What? Oh, yeah, her son. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Lone Star Living. Our chickens were fun to transport. They didn't like it. <laughs> we didn't get our sheep or dog until we moved. Uh, Early Bird Farm, South Carolina. Okay, later, guys. I'm going to go. We're going to watch a few videos. I'm sorry we missed you. Uh, Stacy said... He's miser than me. What? What'd you say? He's a miser, messier. Messier than me. Oh, oh messier. Okay. Uh, oh, that's even more fun. I'm going to have fun with that one. Becoming the farm girl moves are very hard on pets for sure. Everything they know changes in an instant. Mama Z, hey guys, will I have to run? I'll catch the rest on the replay. I got to go pay some bills. Big Bear, empty, empty knives. Uh, going Green Mom, I was... Hearing it as empty knives. Going green, uh, Mom. Have a great day, Misty. Uh, are you driving to Hannibal, uh, Missouri? Yes, we'll be driving to Hannibal, Missouri. Lone Star Living. Big Bear Homestead. Y'all going to have a, a Homestead Life Conference? Big Bear replied with, and pray <laughs> for us because we are sharing an Airbnb. They're going to be fighting over the shit. I mean, we're, the toilet. We're going to be sharing a room. In at the Homestead Life Conference. And <laughs> giggity, giggity. All right. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a mess. Yes, Jason, he's going to be doing a uh, speaking on it as pest control. Uh, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Predator. Predator control. This is the inside joke. Uh, built on the rock, Homestead. Need to run outside quickly before the bad storm hits. Have a nice day. Uh, sorry to miss your uh comment there till now lone star living hmm may have to head to that way it's in august we'll have a newborn so not sure Ooh. uh robin said you better bring that baby we missed a lot of comments know, lone star lone star living uh we'll see maybe sage will become a good bowser hopefully uh big bear homestead i've never seen any mice uh, boats equals fishing, pool equals fun, horse equals no need for tractor. I am the big spoon. You might be the big spoon, but I am the fork. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you better stop. All right. So now we got all the comments out the way. Um, Farmstead Smith, she sent, okay, so on one of her lives, I won a cup and I never opened it. So I was just going to do the unboxing of it because honestly, it's been a little while and I forgot what it looked like and I didn't want to open it when everything was getting packed and it was safe in the packaging that she sent. Um so Let he go away from me because it's the music. Yeah. He's gonna open up that coffee mug. How do you know it's a coffee mug? Because I know what I won. I just don't remember. Oh what it looks you won like. it. Yeah I won this. Um 
So it's not a housewarming gift. It's no, just... no, no, no. Um, I just haven't opened it, and I totally forgot. Like, I know what it is, but I totally Ooh, forgot. We got a sticker put on our mailbox. Oh! Okay, so if we get handed, like, stickers, we're going to be putting it out on our mailbox if, we get, if people send us stickers. Just so y'all know, if you have uh, stuff. Um, I... I Oh, she sent me nope. a card. You got you a keychain. You needed a key, keychain. And she she actually um, draws. So she, Parm says she's such she's so sweet, but she sent me her little keychain. And she she's actually a pretty good artist. Um, she does some Ooh. recent like little drawings. Did she make this or she? No, she got it from a vendor that um, so like hand like makes them. Cute little mug. It says thank you. Oh, she sent us. Oh, another oh, sticker. Cool. Like this is a sticker. It's really, really cute. Okay, that's good. All right, I got it. But um, I hope your mug finds you in one piece and you love it as much as I do. Tori, so glad to have connection with you through YouTube. Your support means so much. Um, and so I, I really enjoy her. She is such a sweetheart. Um, and has such a great sense of humor and a big heart, honestly. So, Sunny's Place said, we're on the way to Hannibal from Texas. We'd love to feed you on your way. Okay. Send us an email so we can link up on Sidebar and we can set that up. I think we're going to probably leave here on a Wednesday or a Thursday. Because it's Saturday and Sunday. Well, no, it's Sunday and Monday. Oh, it's Sunday and Monday. So I want to leave here on um, Thursday morning. Well, I want, well, Saturday is when most people are like connecting. So, and it takes us like six hours. I guess from here it'll be six hours. Um, I would like to go on Friday. Friday, okay. And be there Friday evening and be able to hang out Saturday and then get into like all of the other groups um, for Monday, Sunday and Monday and then drive back on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Becoming a farm girl, I remember in the video you shared that you have an Amish community nearby. Did you find that out before or after? Did you research the community beforehand? So... Uh, we didn't find out that we had an Amish community till we were it's in the Amish. Park. Well, they're part. They're kind of. It's like, kind of like. It's a, a, a German cult. I wouldn't say really a cult. A community kind of similar to the Amish, but they're more technical involved. So they have cars and cell phones, and I'm not sure about TVs. I think that's the only thing that they don't have. Well, because we were used to the. Um, Hooter rights. Uh, the Hooterites in Montana, and these ones are, I'm drawing a blank. They're a German, from the German descent of a, of the Amish community, but anyway. Uh, so. I remember what they're called. What? Oh, Mennonites, yeah. Mennonites. Um, and so Big Bear Homestead just recently did like a funny joke. Like I, <laughs> like I really do want, like if I get to know one, I want to ask them, um, is it, Men of days and then men of nights. <laughs> if they're out during the day, is it a men of day? Um, I I don't know. Like um, they are kind of in like this hub, religion wise. That I don't honestly, I'm ignorant and I don't understand it all, and I'm not going to pretend to understand it. Um, but I respect you know uh, people's different ways that they want to be. Um, so. Uh, so the uh <laughs> oh we're gonna get a sticker big bear yeah send us one we'll put it on um our mailbox so any sticker we get we're putting on our mailbox so the only thing that we researched about this community coming in was about paris or, or somewhere around i think it was paris there was a big ice raid because there's a lot of hispanics here well, it's um, Hispanics that work here yeah. at the trailer. Yeah, the trailer community, uh, like trailer that you pull trailers that you hitch, uh, like four wheelers and stuff like that. There's manufacturers right up the road yeah. here. Yeah, and that's the big uh, money income for this, this area. So ICE raided that. Yeah, and they had like... 
It's on YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. About two, three years ago, go check it out. Ice Raid in Paris, Paris, Texas. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Bear said the videos that are coming from this trip are going to be amazing. I guess because we're going to be in there. Um, Sunny's place. We're about two hours from Hannibal. I think we're heading that way on the Thursday. Oh, you guys are going to be there, Emma? That'll be awesome. Where do you see that at? Did, didn't you just read that? No, Where? right here. Big Bear Home said follow up. Oh, I thought you were reading what Sunny said. Uh, I was, okay. Uh, Lone Star Living, <laughs> the Mennonites, Carrie Gonzalez. The Mennonites. <laughs> sound like Mennonite. <laughs> yes, they are the Mennonites. Uh, right. <laughs> Uh, Sunny's place. We have Amish down the road. Their carriage is always on the road. Oh, that must sucks. Uh, there is a box on the way soon, and a sticker will be on it. Cool, cool, Yay. cool. All right. I'm gonna reuse that sticker. Yeah, we're gonna be. We love putting these stickers, any type of stickers, on yeah, we'll our mailbox. Yeah, we'll advertise for people, and it's on a on a main road, so we'll be putting stickers on our mailbox. No, our, our garden mailbox. Well, we, I was going to put, um, so one of the things I want to do is I want to put uh, a new mailbox out there that is for our mail, but also allows them to put like a, like a drop box, like for Amazon stuff, because we do order from that quite a bit. So I do want to update it, and I do want to put, like personally, I want to put stickers on it. Uh, Lion Crest Outdoors, Paris, Texas is huge, great spots, big history of period. Paris is saving the grapes in France. Oh, then now we actually uh, we enjoy our little commute to Paris, Texas. It's a cute town. Yeah, um, and was it last weekend we rode in there and they had an Eiffel Tower. They were uh, having like a simulated an arch, yeah. archery thing. Oh yeah, they have a uh, archery festival contest going on. Something People like, were walking around with all their archery equipment. Yeah, it was. I guess it's like a big deal. And we got to see our um, our our southern redneck kind of like uh, Eiffel Tower. That was our first time seeing it. Um, <laughs> Sunny place said we won't be going to the conference. It's our anniversary Aww. weekend, and hubby does not want to be around people that we. <laughs> I can well, I can understand that. No, you guys enjoy your time. Or y'all could celebrate the weekend prior or afterwards. <laughs> They got plans, but um, it's a neat little town there in Hannibal. It's interesting. Um, uh, the internet sucks there. Yes, it does. If if you have Verizon, that will be the only way you'll get. And we have Verizon, but a lot of people couldn't do anything on their phones that were not Verizon. If one of the moderators if beats me to the Homesteading Life Conference, it is in Hannibal, uh, Missouri. It is well worth. I mean, that was. It's worth it. Go with a partner. Go with notebooks. Go with. Go with paper and pen. If you don't go with paper and pen, you're going to lose a lot of information. Mm -hmm. I think it was at that conference that we came back serious about finding this place. And it took from August of last year till just, you know, like a few months ago for us to, like, actually get our ducks in a row to make this place happen. We came back with a thirst and hunger to make this happen. Yeah, so down below is, I just put the link for the Homesteading Life Conference. Uh, they have a lot of speakers there. You get to meet off the grid with uh, Doug and Stacy. You get to meet the Fit Farmer. Uh, I think those are the only content creators that's going to be there besides us, right? And Big Bear Homestead. Oh, yeah, Big Bear Homestead. Um, no, like, no, there's, so here's the thing. Uh, last year, it was pretty light because that was right in the thick of right after, like, COVID. So I think this year it's going to be a, a better grouping. Um, but, like, if you are just beginning or you haven't found what works for you, this is going to be the best group of people to ask what chickens work for you, what, you know, about people's experiences. This is the best place to bring a notebook, to make notes, um, and all of the classes that they have. They have fermenting classes, canning classes, um, and everything's broken down into sessions. And the reason why it's good to go 
as a couple is there was a few things that were happening at the same time and we just split up right and yeah. um, went to separate things so that we could have absorb the information and make notes i think this year like while last year it was like serious for us because we were trying to get our minds about what like we learned from mutter utter about the kiko goats there yeah and ever since it because we we were thinking about just getting a multi-purpose uh chickens multi-purpose uh goats and stuff like that but they was telling us kiko goats are the best meat production of everything with low get. maintenance yeah like, with low maintenance because with kiko goats you don't have to worry about uh getting them dewormed uh they're, they're or their hooves their hooves because they're they're naturally able to walk on different things without you know having to and trim they can their stand hooves the heat mm -hmm. in texas yeah because they're originally from uh turkey and so that was a game changer for us uh, we, because we were thinking about boar goats, but they're most, uh, you have to deworm those. You have, you have to kind of pay attention to those and Spanish, I think it was Spanish red goats or Sp Spanish goats. And you know. we already knew that we were definitely going to do Nigerian goats for like the milk, the milk um, that I, I, wanted, I want to use for soaps. Um, and cheese. So I knew I wanted Nigerian goats as like our, our, our base, you know, like pet group um, that worked for us. Uh, but the Kikos are going to be meat, our meat goats. And I think I finally got him uh, convinced to, especially after the meal he made last night on some sheep. So I have Lamb. a. Lamb. Okay, whatever. Um, we're going to go to the home set. Like, these are questions I'm going to have. Like, this is like two years out for us. So I want to go and do my homework on what to do for us on that. Yeah. Uh, Lone Star living the Eiffel Tower with the cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, we took a picture with it. We just never posted it. <laughs> I think Doug will be back because I think they kind of rest up a little bit at I wonder if he sh he should be done with he his. He has a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, him. and every time I've hit him up to ask him something, sidebar like he always answers me. Um, but I haven't been bothering him lately, so. Yeah, we we owe a lot to uh, and, Doug, Jess, Big Bear Homestead for getting us to where we are currently. They've right been now. really great mentors. Yeah, um, Doug, like when we showed up last time. We didn't even know he knew who we were. Yeah, we were standing in line. We were standing in line. Ah, I need to talk to you. Like, I'm he like, came we to were, us. And everybody just looking at us like, who, who are, are these? You? <laughs> that, was, that was weird. Um, yeah. But, um, no, we had a really great time. We recommend it for everybody. Stinky Puddle Ranch. Good morning. Happy Naked Gardening Day to you, lovelies. Listening to you while canning some jelly. Ooh, can't wait to learn how to... Do that. That's one thing I want to. I think they had that at the last conference tour. I want to learn how to get into canning. So becoming a country girl in here. If you guys don't know anything about her, she's practicing in her learning space in her classroom in her townhome. But she is really good at canning, and um, I've actually like that's the one thing that is intimidating to me that. I need to experiment more and I, I wish I would have in our last space so I think for the next year or two it's going to be more of a learning curve for me um, because that has been an intimidating thing um, I did get a book that she recommended uh, that becoming a country girl recommended um, is it in here? What's the name of the book? It's that blue ribbon canning. Oh, no, it's not in here. Um, Only my books are in here. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have <laughs> uh, Big Bear Homestead. Homestead Live Concert is the best conference out there so far. I uh, I agree. Um, I really appreciate what Doug and Stacy do for the homesteading community, getting them to be more self-sufficient, and be uh, more self-sustainable and learning to where people's food coming from because uh, this food system right now, corporations are owning this company or country, I should say, uh, 
because they have their hand just at uh, the corporations, like the food industry, uh, the medical industry, gas industry are owning this country right now. We got to learn how to take it away from them. I want to show them. So she recommended um, this book. I can't see it. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Huh. Oh, wait, wait. There. The, okay. She recommended uh, this book to me uh, in one of her canning things, and it has some fantastic recipes in there that I I intend in the next in the next year or two. Cause I, it takes me a little while to find something and then make it my own the way that I like it. Um, but so now I feel like approaching it a little bit more confidently than I was before. Uh, Big Bear says sheeps and high, <laughs> highlands are next for us. Uh, Stinky Puddle Rant said they are talking about turkeys. Come check out our sheep, Lone Star Living. What all livestock do you have, uh, Lone Star Living? I'd like to know. Uh, you said you're mixing, you're going to mix the breed though. You have a droper sheep, and I think we're going to be getting a, can't say that word, ram and a Saint, Saint Crow. Oh, I can't either. Uh, <laughs> Usually I can. Both are parasite in. resistant. That's one thing I like about Kiko's. They're parasite resistant. Uh, becoming a farm girl, girl. Oh, thanks, y'all. I love canning. It's a game changer for sure. And and you know what? Becoming a farm girl. I like. I really like your videos on your you, like your canning videos. It's I very, love your storytelling. Yeah, and your storytelling you with it and your, the B roll. Like it's really good. Uh, <laughs> Lone Star Living. Finding canning supplies right now is hard to come by. COVID cleared everything out. Oh, thanks, Crystal. She likes our thumbnail. Yeah, and Is that's <laughs> that's something we... I think our thumbnails for Net International Lake and Gardening Day is probably the one thing that... We have to plan ahead for. Yeah, like, like we plan years. Well, not years. Not years. But, a, but like a month, months. At least a month or two ahead. This one, we weren't even sure where we were going to be here. And as soon as I knew we were going to be here, I was. he was like, let's get some Adirondack chairs. And then I was like, yeah, we can set them at the pond. So we like we did plan that one out. Uh, Lone Star Living said we got chickens, ducks, and sheep looking at zebu cattle. Uh, oh, excuse uh -huh. me. In the next couple of years, we'll see. I got to look at what zebu cattle is. You know what? Becoming a farm girl, if you, yes, um, if you come to it solo, you can partner up with us for sure. Um, because, like... He'll get the information that your hubby would have gotten. Whoa. You can hang out with me, and we can team up, um, especially just knowing what the alternative um, stuff that you would want to know is. The zebu cattle look like a hunchback of Northern Dane type of ox. That does have kind of like an ox look to it. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I cannot share that with you guys because um, it's on our computer screen and I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with OBS system that good yet to be sharing like that. Stinky Puddle Ranch. Yes, cashmere and kinko goats are definitely from Turkey and they are delicious. Yes, goats is delicious. So, I know like goats are his favorite thing. Um, lamb is like my favorite thing. Um... So we're going to have to work something out. Like, even if there's, like, somebody nearby and I can work out some bartering, there's something. Um, Stone, uh, Lone Star Living, hit, uh, hit us up on our email. Uh, I would like to take a look at your your homestead there next weekend, if possible. Maybe yeah. maybe we can do a tour and, and, um, and like, uh, highlight you guys. Uh, for one of our videos, maybe if you guys are up for it, and, interview you. And steal one of your ducks. <laughs> oh, no. Or chickens. <laughs> no, we're not going to steal nothing. Okay, we'll just take without permission. Okay. okay, well, I will be checking his pockets. So. Check out. <laughs> Whatever. So, I, I can't tell like how long it. It says right there. Oh, it does. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, uh, sunny Place, Lone Star, how do they handle the cold? Uh, Bazoo, Zebu are parasite resistant and they are very heat tolerant. Okay. 
I'm not sure. Well, in Texas, we we don't get that cold here. I mean, this last year was. I mean, that was a freak issue. of nature. It was a freak of nature. I guess they said like every ten years, but I don't even remember that happening ten years ago. Like, I'm thinking like it was in the 1800s the last time it was like that. So oh, okay, so Lone Star Linden might be open for an interview. All right. That would be cool. We would love to highlight you guys because I know you guys were doing some videos for a while. Kind of took a break from it, um, but if you guys are going to be coming back, I we'd love to introduce you guys. So that would be awesome. Being you, uh, stinky puddle rants. Being you are in Texas, you should look at the painted desert sheep. They are they are also great meat sheep. However, they require oh, see. I would like low well, maintenance. Well, that's just medicine, babe. That's, uh, it's at, tex it's at um, tractor supply. Like, I saw it there. Like, I can take care of that stuff. Like, I use, okay, so one of my first jobs, my mom owned a grooming shop that was connected to a, a vet shop, a vet clinic, and I worked between the two of them. Before I was even legally able to work, I was assisting the, uh, the veterinarian next door in surgery. So, like, I'm not afraid of that kind of stuff. I'm not afraid of it. I just I know, but when you hear it, you need to like and like check with me before you decide it's not going to happen. Well, who's going to be doing it? I would be the one that would oh, be doing okay. it. So you want to do the sheep, the bees, the flowers? There are certain things that I want to do that I'm going to be better at, mm -hmm. obviously, and there's other things that you're going to be like. That's what teamwork makes the dream work for a reason. I don't want to touch no bees. I don't want. To... I know you don't, and I know you don't want to medicate the animals if they need nope. it. But I want to protect my investment, especially when it's not a whole lot of money to protect that investment. So as soon as one of the animals catch the sniffles, well, that's not not. Sage, did I hear you sneeze? <laughs> Stop. Not if there's a solution for it that we can manage. Oh, so. those look like a nice little sheep, too. The oh, painted desert sheep. Those are cute sheep. Okay. Uh, let's see where we missed that. Uh, Sunny's Place. Okay, I'll look more into it. I'm in Missouri, and we get both heat and cold here. That's what I like about Missouri. When we were in, there in August, it was so cool. Like the temperature wise, it was like I was like, oh, while we were burning up here in Texas, I was like, Ugh. it was. A, but they did say that it was unseasonably like that. Like it was beautiful. It was like but, spring there yeah. in August when we went, and I I think that that was like a fluke. I don't know, but it it almost sold wanna, me on that. I don't want to expect it and then be disappointed. Um, yeah, Lone Star Living. Yeah, I told my wife after Roots and Refuge premiere on their new property that if I don't start filming our progress on this property, I'll kick myself. Well, if we can motivate you to guys to get starting, like like let us know. We would love to come out and interview you guys, see where you're at, and then you guys can jump off from that if you want. Let us know, hit us up, um, and because we love going and seeing what other people are doing, because it always gives us inspiration. Um, and like it's a two way street. Like we always learn something. And and I, we're in part of a Marco Polo content creator group, and it's our like our family. It's our, our it's our little family. Yeah, and so we we basically I kind of came up with something to kind of better everyone in there, or at least better ourselves. And they, I mean, they bring that to us. Yeah, like they make us better, you know, and feedback. Yeah, and. What I would like to do for our point of view is, for me, I would like to be a better storyteller. So uh, for us as a content creator, I fumble with word now. It's like doing lies or just talking personal face to face, I have no problem. But in front of the camera, I'm like... He gets like, he gets nervous. <sighs> and um, honestly, I've only been on camera more because I am the, the, the videographer so I get frustrated, and I will have him. I'm like, just come film this, and I'll like when you see me on camera, it's because I'm frustrated, and it's a one take. She's a, she's a natural. For me, it's like take. And, eight. But I don't like to be on camera. Take nine, take ten. If it gets to and take ten, we have a deal. What is it? If we get up to take something, that I, I have to go and do it. I don't know. Yeah, I. But anyway. It's funny. Uh, but anyway, for what I was getting at. For any content creator out here, just start with at least one video a week. Just consistently, like if you're gonna do it, 
Be consistent in whatever you do. If it's one a month, one a month. If it's one a week, one a week. I would do at least one a week. Re do all your batch recordings uh, at the you know during the weekend and just put them out once once a week. Don't feel like don't put yourself in a situation where you're like stressing to get it up and loaded like. If you're gonna kind of fall out, but you want to be committed, like at least do batch recording of a few things so you can get caught ahead. Um, we're behind right now just because we just had this big move, um, but we did make sure to have our property, you know, the house tour and the property tour, which are, you know, those were fun videos to make because we discovered, like when you in that video, our, our property, property tour. That was literally the first time that we really saw what was down in the creepy uh, tornado shelter. Um, when he opened the barn, that was literally his first time. I went into it the first time I stepped on the property because I wanted to go in and see everything, but he hadn't done that. Um, during that video, that was the first time that either one of us went over to even mess with the, the, um, the cage over on the barn. So we didn't even know that it had like a really nice um, rod uh, locking system on it. I don't even know what you call that kind of system. What? He's messing with a feather duster. Our cat's weird. Lone Star Living, you got a four wheel drive about a mile and a quarter up the road to our house is, is Dirt County Maintain Road. And if y'all can park on the main road, we can come pick y'all up in a and the mule, Kawasaki mule. Oh, cool. We need to get a, um, a, a UTV. UTV uh, so we might be asking y'all some information about those. Yeah, we need to get probably some feedback from you guys um, on a UTV. Uh, Sunny's Place, yes, I worked so hard on the storytelling part, writing out an outline, a script helps a lot. By the way, Sunny's Place just did a, a fantastic uh, storytelling video oh, that was, like I got teary eyed. Yeah, it's it's basically a telling about moving from the city life, being cl so close with your friends, to have going into the homesteading life. How your city life friends are really you're loose in in touch with your city life friends, and you grow more friends with either content creators or other homesteading. And it's and it's kind of like. I remember Bill Gates was talking about you want to be with around like-minded people. He hangs around rich people and, and stuff like that because you want to incorporate and just gather up all that information that they may have that you don't know about. So. But it's a complete crowd swap over when, you know, like coming out here, I'm already an introvert. So like I was, I was set up for this. What I did not anticipate coming out here and, you know, I have a daughter that lives in downtown Dallas that wasn't very far from us. And even being close, I didn't get to see her a whole lot because she has a business out there. But now I'm like, I've moved away and the little, like the little times I got to see her have, like, we don't know when that's going to happen. So I'm, I'm having to adjust to that. Yeah. Uh, Ashara Starfall. Yes, it's so frustrating. I'm autistic. And masking is one of my things, but I don't have a good camera on, don't have a good on camera mask. Go into analysis, per, paralysis. Hmm, not sure what you meant by that, but you don't need a good camera. Our first year, we used our phone. It's all about the software. Most uh, editing software will allow you to mask if I think I know what you're talking about from there. But, but just work with what you have. Like, like, um, constantly apply what Jess uh, from Roots and Refuge says and like whatever you have let it be your classroom try to be the best at what you have so that when you do upgrade and you do get the other things um, it, it's only going to you know like some stuff is going to get a little bit better but just like just work with what you have yeah uh, go to the last comment and then we'll kind of close out yeah, here. Yeah, we're just over our normal, normal time. Uh, Lone Star Living, yep, it's hard. We've been driving four hours round trip every week to every two weeks to church back in Frisco. 
Oh, Ooh. I know where Frisco is because I used to live in Little Elm right on the edge. Uh, I used to live out there, so that used to be my stomping ground. Yeah, we finally decided we needed to find a local place, but it's hard. Uh, it Do took it online. A, yeah, this see if your church have an online we're still doing online yeah, with our church yeah because it took us almost a year for us to find a church in our local area because the the time that i would go back to go visit pops and the kids I, we would go to church that sunday and it was just hard to find a church i and know around here yeah around here is like buku Ooh, amount of churches there's around. like too many churches for my country. you could throw a rock and you'll hit a church here out here yeah. so it makes me like very like about the area a little bit um but just start just go with i mean i know you want to do the fellowship and right now with the technology of Equipments and stuff. They I even, like Lake Point. Yeah, they, you can church even do online uh, giving, tithes, and offering and stuff like that. Yeah, Lake Point uh, Church in Rockwall. If you're looking for an online one and you don't have an online one, phenomenal. They are phenomenal. Yeah. So, Sunny Place. I started my channel with just my phone. Started with what you got and built on. Correct. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, we hope that y'all enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, we only do this once a month. I'm sorry we disappointed you with the clothes and all on if World you, Naked Gardening Day. If you have a good imagination, <laughs> just picture me naked. <laughs> him. Only him. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank y'all for coming out. Uh, thank uh, Until the next time, I guess we'll see y'all will be the first weekend, uh, the first Saturday in May. June. Oh, June. Remake. Oh shoot! Like my time scale is way off. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we've been moving. Anyway, uh, we thank y'all for coming out. God bless and have a nice day. <laughs> Until then, let's grow together. <laughs>